Welcome back. Welcome back. I gotta go get in bed before it turns daytime. Because clearly those fans are like, oh, dude, that guy's sleeping. Or he was whistling. Iron Gollum was like, got little music notes come out of his face. <laughs> what? Uh, he did. I'm not kidding. It's on uh, my video. Right, I've my chat saw it. Got you love. I mean, he's got a little tune in his heart, you know? Well, it's something like that. Did, did you move your bed from here? Uh, my bed's... Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I could have slept with one of those villages. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of, plenty of <laughs> there's plenty beds, of beds there. over there. Huh. All right, all slept. Um, you got the lava. I need to go get some more carpet, though, if we're going to cover that edge. And then we need to figure out, if that works, what to build the roof on. We're not really going to... like Once you start killing those... Uh, those guys with the lava is when we're gonna really gonna find out if they start to respawn, though, right? Right. Well, we could just put half slabs on the wall for now. Well, that's true. We could do half slabs. Well, except that we know those don't work. I don't. We think don't we know, know that... anything, Jeff. I keep saying that because <laughs> that was a different version of the game. True, but we don't know in that version of the game if if carpet didn't work either. True. We only know that half slabs did not work. Right. Oh yeah, these guys definitely still not drone. Damn it. Come on, people. Eat your grass. They're people now. I guess. Or something. Um I got half slabs. I'm gonna try that. Okay. I mean, can at least do it since we have nothing else at the time, and then we'll we'll kill them all. We probably have to kill all the guys in the ground too, though, too, right? Yeah. Yeah. All these guys gotta go. Where'd you find lava at, and how much did you get? I just got a bucket of it. It's down in the caves. around in that sheep farm. There we go. So have you rescheduled your Disney cruise yet? No. I don't Disney know. Disney World opened, right? Yeah, they did. Um, Are you man, Disney World? Florida's, uh, Florida's rough. You know, you can't actually book a trip to Disney right now. They reopened. No book. No, they reopened, but they they're not they're not taking any new bookings. They're only allowing people that already had existing bookings to to rebook. But they're not allowing any new bookings. You can't convert your uh, cruise into no no. Those Mickey bucks only exist in the cruise line. Not um... are they really called Mickey bucks? No. <laughs> okay, that's good because. Uh... I think that's a silly term. I think you'd be insane to go to Disney right now. I mean, I agree with you. No, I do. I do wonder, what would you think if you went and got the uh, the serology test and it turns out you were positive? Like you had the antibodies. Well, I mean, even they, they're saying the antibodies are already good for like two months, right? I, I i don't think they... I've heard multiple different things, and who knows what's actually true or not. I actually scheduled a uh, serology test for next Thursday. No, um, Thursday. But I've already, I've already had the antibody test. I don't have any. Oh. When did you get it? Uh, it's been a couple of weeks now, whenever they thought I was dying. When they thought you were dying? What? I thought I told you about this. No. Do I have um, that uh, bucket of lava, though? Uh... Okay then. <laughs> and there's more down uh, on that ear platform still that weren't in that little section. Right. Uh, my white blood cell count was all weird, and uh, so they did like um, they checked me for lupus and uh, leukemia. 
I thought I told you about this. I really did. Sleep um, study. That's all I know. You got a half slabs you want me to put up there? I already did it. Oh, all around? Uh, can we half slab this then too? Where oh. I have the villagers protected? Yeah, I thought you were going to remove that, but I guess that makes sense. I mean, we, I guess we could. Once these guys are dead. Um... Uh, apparently there was a bug report. Iron golems can spawn inside of non-full blocks. Fixed in 116. So. 116? That's where we're at. Are we at 1161? Sure. Same thing. <laughs> 116. <laughs> it's been fixed. So it's saying that basically what we experienced in the last season was wrong. Right. It was a bug. Oh. Um... So, this should just be good. Honestly, we don't even need to uh, put a roof on put it. Put a roof on it? Oh, no. I kind of like roofs. Can they spawn on glass? I don't think so, right? I don't know. I mean, most things can't. All right. Um, so, yeah, this should That'd be good. Be, well, we should be washing your platform then, right? Um, right. Right. Hey, I removed a block over here, so I could get up. Never mind, I could I could reach it. Well, there's a shitload of golems down here. Well, I pushed a bunch down on the one side, but uh, I don't think I pushed that many though. Is there any just killed like five of them? Um, is there no way to get where you're at? Uh, jump up and jump down. Jump up, jump up and get down. That's how I did it. <laughs> I guess you could break a block too and just fall through. Oh, yeah, I want to go with the platform back on it. Are we high enough for them to die? Uh, well, what? This hurt guys. Are we high enough for them to die? I said. You said, are we high enough for them to die? Oh, by fall damage. I thought you meant like, nah, do we need to nah, do more drugs? Like, like, I was drugs. so confused. I was like, I mean, I'm not high, but I we're think... We're not even high enough for them to take damage. She just fell down there and, like, looked at me like I was stupid. Um, yeah, it looks like they're spawning pretty damn quick, though. Well, there's no new ones spawning. Yeah, there is. There are these three. Yeah, I'm gonna go stay in this corner. So we got two. Waiting. Okay. Um, let me get rid of these ones down here. Because if this works, then we're gonna. Well, now the question is if. They were able to spawn on not full block. Will they not spawn in the water? I don't know about that. Because of this platform, if we cover it with water to, as a water current, will they not even spawn on it anymore? I think they'll spawn in water. More confident. Oh, one did just spawn on your platform. See him. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's a cat down here. I'm a cat. Let me check me out. I'm a cat. A meow, 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 and a meow, meow, meow. Oh, my son's really into Perry Grip. And, uh, oh my God, some, some songs he gets super into, and I will sing them in my head all day at work. I'm just going to get out of my head. <laughs> Isn't Perry Grip, uh, it's raining tacos. Yes, <laughs> that is that is a very good song. His latest one he's into is Pirate Snail on Broccoli Island. I haven't heard this one. 
is uh it's a really relatively new music video that came out and it's a very good music video like the guy who does all his animations for music videos mm. um it just came out like three months ago or something like that um and you know there was a uh, for rain and tacos there was the saga continues which was it's hailing taquitos i haven't heard the hailing taquitos and then the part three of that is taco bot 3000 which is actually relatively new as well huh um you know presidency united states of america right the band the beaches people yes never heard of them okay um did you know that the lead singer makes kids music now i did not uh it's really good like i mean let's be honest peaches could have been a kid song yeah no i mean looking back at uh the potus music um it all could have been kid songs i like little doom buggy by the little spider so I will be honest, I don't know anything by them except for Peaches. Oh, man. Doom Buggy's my favorite song by them. So, I mean, that's the funny thing. Maybe they always tried to make kids music, and one of them just went mainstream. It's like Baby Shark. Oh, I've made a mistake. Oh, what, what is all this protection stuff in, in here that I could steal? What are you talking about? There's a lot of protection uh, armor. Where? In this chest over here, I don't know. What chest? One of yours? I don't know, just looking at it. Oh. I came over here for something, and now I don't even remember what it was. Uh, um, do you know how we're going to do the water streams? Uh, with buckets. Oh, okay, buckets. You say. Oh, I was, gonna, I was looking for kelp. Water shoot up to that one too. What happened to all the kelp that we got? I didn't throw it away, did I? Kelp. Yeah, I was trying to. It's gonna make it one of those water shoots that went up to. All right. To where you're at. But I don't know. If you put it in the chest, it's possible my daughter has done something with it too. It's possible that I also just threw it away because I decided we weren't, didn't need kelp anymore. <laughs> well, your daughter did make me this little chest thing over here somewhere. Hold on, I might have thrown it in there. So how do you do it in the corner? Well, usually she has to bend a little bit to the side to get the right angle. That's how you can do it in the corner. Um, I don't know. We might, you might just need to build it up in the corner. I will actually put the water up a block in the corner and look at the direction that it flows. Taco bot. Three times. There's a, I don't know who sings Annabelle Pancake, but that's a really good kid song. I don't know of said Annabelle Pancake. You should look that one up. I bet your son would enjoy it. Yeah. I will admit that, like, Perry Griff's music, I think, is, like, amazing. It's, it's so well done, and it's so catchy and entertaining, and seemingly, like, it's extremely well thought out. It's, like, it doesn't... It's kids' music, but with very well put together vocabulary and things like that. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's quite amazing. I feel like y'all used to make fun of me for having these kind of opinions, and now suddenly you share this opinion. I don't think I ever made fun of you. Or anything ever. <laughs> yeah. Totally never happened. I don't remember ever having a conversation like this with, with you, though. Arcus definitely reams on me for listening to kids' music. But maybe. Um, Ask him if he's ever listened to POTUS. Because it turns out they've always been. I forgot how I did this last time already. How I made this. Uh... A good water stream. Did you make this double rainbow high? What do you I don't mean? understand this wall that you have going on in here. 
What wall? Where? In this city peeking over the edge. Oh. Yeah, I did that so I could place water against it. Uh, uh, okay. Well, then, coming up here is not going to be... Hmm. Try to make us a way to come up here. Maybe this wasn't the spot to do it. <laughs> oh, and then that doesn't have you like that. I was trying to figure out how to place the water so that it didn't... Uh, um, do, you have, do you have a better solution for this water? No. Hold on. I'm trying to... I don't even know how to get in here right now. Oh, crap. That's not good. That's not good. So I can just do it, like, right here. What's that do? So hard here. Taco bot, bot, bot. No, I got taco bot stuck in there. And you, there's a lot of these songs I've never heard of, um, but I haven't listened to like Kids Place Live and stuff in in a while. Um, and that's where I used to get this type of stuff. Yeah, I think it's funny because it came from. Jack and Grandma were making pancakes one day in, in the kitchen, and she just like said, okay, Google, play something, uh, play a song about pancakes, and the song called Pancake Robot started playing, mm -hmm. and he thought it was the funniest thing that had ever existed. And then we heard it, and we're like, oh, that song is pretty funny, and I was like, hey, is there a music video for this? And there's a hilarious music video for it as well. So it all started with Pancake Robot. And gotcha. It was over from there. We used to, whenever we had Sirius XM, listen to a lot of Kids Place Live, and they play all those songs. So. And I think that that worked like we wanted it to. I'm not 100% certain. Though. Oh my god, it did. Okay. We got a ladder. Up to here. Way up and no way down. Uh, you got this working. Yeah. I'm getting there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got it. <laughs> Slowly getting there. I don't know if this is high enough to kill them. We might need to dig a hole. What do you mean to kill them? Iron goblins don't take fall damage. At all? Mm -mm. I don't think that's true. That's true. <laughs> okay, so we just need to make the lava place. Yeah, yeah, just lava. I guess we gotta watch too to see if they're going to um if they're going to uh spawn. I'm trying to go up to the top and see if they're spawning. I don't know how to get down though. That's the way you got water in here, right? There we go. There are no golems up here. Okay. I think now, go ahead and remove that cobble. Um, and let's, uh, re reveal Bobby. Oh, oh, the centering cobble? Yeah. You know, the only problem I have with doing that mm. is, are we having enough light? For what? For cobble. Or for, for, to not get, uh, other things spawning up here. Well, there's no spawnable surface. Oh, true, true. You gotta be very careful. Okay. Bobby... Oh, I gotta take out the cobble, and then do we have to take out the uh, the nether rack that's blocking him? Right, and I think we probably should put uh, half slabs up there around that bell too. Okay. Now the question is: Is this going to? Clearly, they were spawning without this. Is this just going to increase the spawn rate? 
Um, what do you mean? Oh yeah, were... right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. The, if the they just, yeah they go faster if, okay. if they're mad or scared. I mean. <clears throat> to somehow get up there. Half slabs are around the bell. Uh, I don't have the reach to unveil Bobby, though. That's annoying. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. Bobby's been unveiled from three sides. I see somewhere else we need to put a half slab. See that golem out there? Um, yes, I see him now. Okay, Bobby is visible. Okay. This golem's going down. Going down. Well, this probably needs to be carpet because we have to come up this way. Yeah. Be good now. Uh, I think I think we're set up here. Uh, somebody is suggesting center glass pane um, of something in case the villagers have babies. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Well, wait, how do we do that, though? Glass in the center and then a block on the bottom. That's what we need to do, yeah. Um, do you have a uh, silk touch pick? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what are you going to move the glass? Yeah. We need to move so the center is glass and the bottom or the top is uh is a regular block. Or it could all be glass. It doesn't matter. We just put glass. Actually, yeah, we we just got more glass. But if they do have a baby, a baby will jump up and just go through the side. Will the zombies see them through the glass and aggro them? I do not know the answer to that. Are we just gonna let the babies die? Yeah. We could. I mean if we don't feed them they won't make babies. If we put carpet, can a half thing jump up onto a carpeted surface? Probably, right? I don't know. Oh, I don't know either. Probably not. I don't know. I don't have enough right now, but we can put carpet there. Yeah, I'm not really sure if it'll work, though. I guess it's kind of interesting because the player can jump up on a carpet on a fence post, but like an animal can't, right? Right. Um. Yeah, I feel like you, they couldn't get in there. At least that's what we're going to go with, right? Now we're going to pretend that that is good. It, it probably is. Um, all right, so I think they spawn more during the day. Maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know either. Mm. 
trying to are you sleeping or something no we had eight more people to sleep um yeah i'm just kind of looking to see if i see anything spawning up here yeah i'm down here below to see if they fall down uh so far nothing um Yeah, I'm going to try to sleep. Maybe we can do it. Two. If we both uh, get in bed, that'll be four. Yeah, I'm trying to look for a way to get down from here now that I came up here. Well, you got a bed up there. I'm sort of not exactly where you think I am. Oh, I'm in the... In the middle. In, in the middle. I see. Will I die from this? Probably. Ooh, close. <laughs> <laughs> I took a risk. It paid off. Uh -oh. Hmm. oh, no, now we need 10. We're 5 out of 10. I'm assuming your daughter's got a bed somewhere around the corner, right? Yeah. There's a guest room in the, uh, the Ooh, top floor. Guest room? Our chicken lives there, so don't let him out. Oh, we're almost there. One more person. Right, there's, an, there's an iron gallon that lives there, too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's repairing uh, that guy. How do I get to the top floor here? Uh, you go in through the trap doors on the outside. Oh, I saw a hole in the roof. I was trying to jump in. Didn't work that way. <laughs> I uh, found a bed. <laughs> oh, we did it. All right. Hopefully this is pretty fast. We can, oh, uh, we could definitely put more beds and get some babies in there. Um, to make it even faster. Yeah. I mean, we need, like, an iron a second feeds. What is this pink monstrosity? Wow. That's where Gloria goes to retire? Okay. Who's Gloria? A horse. I see. She wants to be able to see the sunrise. And she comes through here um, to go to the skeleton farm on a regular basis. So whenever she's re at retirement age, this is where she will, will stay. How close is she to retirement age? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Oh, there's one. Now we got to make a, a lava knife. Right. Uh, but yeah, it looks like this works. Um, yeah, I think we should make a lava knife and, and just increase the number of zombies. I mean, uh, zombies. Uh, villagers up there. And uh, we'll be good. But we'll have to do that in the next episode. All right, folks. We'll see you next Bye -bye. time.